star myths, fire signs of the zodiac, created, directed, and presented by Reverend Dr. Dickie Joe Mullen. In this video, Dr. Mullen will explore the fire signs in astrology, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is astrologer Dickie Joe Mullen coming to you from Orlando, Florida with the mythology behind astrology, the star myths for the fire signs of the zodiac. Have you ever thought about um, the planet Mars and where we get the meanings of it in astrology, the god Mars, why the um, scientists or astronomers were inspired to name the different planets after their mythological traits, and that's the way they're read astrologically. It's very, very interesting to look at astrology from that viewpoint for a deeper understanding. There are four elements in every horoscope, fire, earth, air, and water, and they represent different personality traits. Let's look at the fire signs of the zodiac from a deeper perspective. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and we all have them somewhere in our horoscope maps. Fire represents your get up and go, vitality, initiative, motivation. The amount of fire sign emphasis in the birth chart describes how much get up and go, vitality, competitive and innovative energy is present and also how it's directed. Aries March 20th to April 19th is the sun sign. As the celestial trailblazer, Aries is the herald of spring, leading all of the 12 signs of the zodiac in every new cycle as it commences each springtime. All that is fresh, fiery, and progressive is in harmony with the ram. Gifted with great energy from the ruling planet Mars, again named after the god of war, Mars is a restless and pace-setter energy, as is Aries. The brave, heroic figures of legend, think of Ulysses, Tiwa, Hercules, these are all linked to Aries. Courage is one of the defining traits. So is an ardent desire for progress and a forward leap. Directing these energies wisely brings about the real challenge. Wild and impetuous, it's, in it's essential that Aries makes time for some reflection and a self-examination, though. Then, upon combining thought and preparation inherent with the Aries enthusiasm, a future can be built with enterprises unfolding with greater long-term potential. The word zodiac, taken from the Greek, means circle of animals, and circles supposedly have neither an end nor a beginning. Yet Aries is always considered the leader of the parade of celestial creatures. The name of this first sign of spring can be traced to an Assyrian text. Aries actually means prince hinting at an ancient role as a leader. Aries, you have a childlike sense of, of wonder and curiosity and a competitive streak that gives you creativity. Governed by fiery Mars, you're self-confident and believe regardless of the consequences that you can move forward. To those who don't understand this, Aries' influence in a birth chart can show selfishness. To this day, the Temple of Amun in Thebes is approached by an avenue of ram-headed like sphinx beasts carved of stone. Amun was considered a creature of the universe, a creator of the universe. At one time, the Egyptians worshipped him as the greatest deity, a leader among the gods, and the myth of Amun in the Egyptian tradition, which is the root of our Western astrology, gives a hint about understanding this fiery fire sign a little better. Leo, um, July 23rd to August 22nd, is the next fire sign, and identified with the great luminary, the sun, the source of all life. 
Leo is synonymous with royalty, the lion. Extremes of generosity and largesse can be expected when there's Leo influence present. Combining confidence with affection, the lion shines with genuine charisma. An invisible flame burns within, just as the sun glows steadily in the sky. In Egypt, the lion was worshipped as Sekhmet, a fire goddess, who offered passage to the underworld. In Babylon, the divine Ishtar rode in a chariot drawn by seven lions. Alchemists in medieval times used lion emblems to illustrate the powerful potentials of chemical processes. A similar alchemy is in evidence when a Leo is encouraged by sincere compliments today. Great things tend to happen. Think of the golden red lion, the green lion, um, all symbols of actions in alchemy. With the clarity of bright sunlight, the sun ruled second fixed sign of fire radiates poise and magnetism. Warmth as well as courage, faith, and affection envelop the magnanimous lion. Confidence, dignity, and nobility of spirit are all associated with Leo. A dramatic and colorful approach to life gives Leo influence and affinity for theater, and the entertainment industry. Generous and benevolent by nature, you easily establish a rapport with the very young. In Mycenae, a famous lion gate stands before the ruins of a great palace. The lions gaze out at remote mountain peaks with four tops. Uh, four paws atop a stone column. These great felines are primordial symbols of divinity and deity linked to the heavenly lion motif. Those of us who live in Florida can admire lions at the Lion Bridge in St. Augustine. And just looking at them and the way they watch everything going over the bridge, the St. John's River, into the ocean, gives a real feeling for what the lion motif and the deeper symbolic message of Leo is all about. In Babylon, the goddess Ishtar, depicted by the seven lions, and Ishtar is a love goddess. Leo rules the heart in the health of the body. Each zodiac sign relates to a body part. And a friend who was a very good astrologer who was divorcing a Leo when I met her said, you never know what true love is until you've been loved by a Leo. And the influence of Leo serves as a cosmic reminder of the transcendent power of pure love, Put your heart into something. It doesn't have to just be human love, but whatever touches our hearts. And when we're disheartened, the flame fades away. So thinking of keeping the flame going, thinking of the heart, Leo influence in the natal chart will provide a lot of secret insights here. The final fire sign of the zodiac is Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Sagittarius, independent spirit and love of freedom, shows that only through learning through your own efforts, trial and error, can you learn anything. Sagittarius does best as its own real teacher. The censure, the man-animal, is your emblem. On one level, this symbol reveals how close Sagittarians are to animal companions, especially horses and large dogs. There's another message, though. The human torso atop the animal body reminds us of how higher consciousness can rise above animal instincts. The arrow speeding meteor-like toward a target is a beautiful illustration of how the archer's energy and the fire sign of the zodiac of winter gives brilliant and ephemeral energy to the transcendent beauty of the aurora, 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 oh my goodness, aurora borealis, the northern lights. Chiron, the kindly centaur, was a beloved teacher and respected healer. He understood, advised, and guided young wayward centaurs. Optimistic, adventurous, and outspoken, Sagittarius is the third fire sign and the third mutable sign of the zodiac.
Symbolized by this bold archer, you are a wanderer content to aim only at the most distant stars. As a restless idealist, new horizons forever beckon. Freedom and challenges have great appeal. You will not tolerate boundaries or restrictions in pursuing a quest for truth. The legendary centaur Chiron, sometimes called Chiron, depending on how you choose to pronounce it, is a noble emblem of the human self in full control of the lower chakras, or the lower animal desires. In um, Chinese lore, the excellent archer appears as the husband of Hang Ho, a moon goddess. The excellent archer saved the earth from destruction by fire when he shot down nine extra suns on one fateful morning when ten suns instead of one rose. He wisely allowed us one sun to remain, though, for life and warmth and heat. The gods rewarded him with immortality. However, Heng Ho feared her husband after this, and she fled to hide on the moon. There the hare, who lives in the moon, um, befriended Heng Ho, and the hare or rabbit, often seen in the moon, along with the man in the moon, persuaded the excellent archer to abandon his life, wife, life with his wife and leave him alone. Heng Ho happily has found peace forevermore in exile. If you enjoyed learning more about the mythology of astrology, my book is available through the website Kuhali and the Spirit of Prism Rosa. It's a series of little vignettes about astrology and metaphysics in an allegory form. And if you are interested, Sky Maiden Musings, my website will give you a link about how to order the book. This is astrologer Vicki Jo Mullen sharing the element fire with you today.